But then the, the most powerful part of this ayah that I wanted to spend extra time on because this is really one of the most beautiful lessons in the entire Quran, in my opinion. If, if the Muslim understands this, their life becomes easy. وَقُلْ عَسَىٰ أَنْ يَهْدِيَنِي رَبِّي لِأَقْرَبَ مِنْ هَذَا رَشَدًا These words are a dua. And more than a dua, they are a statement of optimism. Let's introduce it that way. This, you're thinking about the future just because of the use of the word asa, which is harfu taraji in the Arabic language, a, a word or a fi'lu taraji, a verb used to express hope. Allah is teaching us in this ayah that the Muslim has to have hope in the future. My iman in the Quran makes me optimistic about the future. I, am, I don't care what the news says. I don't care what happened yesterday and the day before and the day before and the day before. I will not be among those Muslims who sit on a table and say the situation of the ummah keeps getting worse and worse and worse. Oh my God, things are only going to get much, much more terrible. And there's another tragedy coming, I guarantee you. Watch what happens. Oh, you think 9-11 was bad because it's the anniversary, right? You think 9-11 was bad? Oh my God, that was nothing. Watch what happens to the ummah now and then watch what happens now. This attitude is directly against the ayah of this book. Just in the word Asa. You're, you're supposed to be full of optimism and hope that Allah will make things better for you, for the people around you, for humanity. You're supposed to have that attitude. And then he says, that what, you, what should you say about your own future? Asa an yahdi an rabbi. Perhaps my master will guide me. He'll give me guidance. What is the most optimistic thing you can have in your future? Everybody wants a better job or better financial situation, or a better family situation, a better health situation. We want all of these things, but you know what? The most fundamental thing you and I need, more essential than the oxygen that we're breathing, is Allah's guidance. So once you have that, everything else will work out. When you don't have that, you can have everything else and you have nothing. So in this ayah, there's an optimism that Allah will guide me. Asa an yahdi ani rabbi. That Allah will, my, my Rabb will guide me, my master will not forgive, forget me. I remember him when it comes to the future, he will remember me when it comes to the future. See, when I say inshallah, I've remembered him. And because I remembered him when it came to the future, he will remember me. Remember me, I'll remember you. Mention me, I will mention you. 